Hey gearheads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the support team bringing you another video. And today I'm excited to talk about our brand new 16 by 16 matrix switcher, 4K. It's the BG-4K-1660MA. That's right, 16 inputs to 16 outputs, all 4K, 444, 4K at 60. Our, our previous one has been a very popular one, so we're excited to unveil a very new, brand new one here. And as you can see, I have it set up behind me. We have a lot of sources going around a lot of displays uh, this is a great unit for multiple um, environments maybe like a sports bar hospital casino wherever you have multiple displays if you're looking to display one image on across all TVs or multiple image on multiple TVs uh, this unit can do it all if you're looking to add extenders you can do that as well control as always there is a lot of options you have the IR remote you have the front panel push buttons you can control it over the network just connect it to your local network and get into the web GUI and make it a very simple RS-232 if you're looking to control it with a uh, control system or just some commands that could do it we could do that as well and then eventually it'll be part of our switch control app so if you're looking to control it with any of your wireless devices iPads iPhones Androids whatever it may be it'll be easy to control over the network uh, but today's for today's demonstration we're just gonna go ahead and dive into the web GUI I already got it on the network as you can see like I mentioned we already have it set up I have 16 outputs going I have nine Nine TVs right here. I have some in our rack. I have just some rack monitors. And also we have two of our 8K TVs, so it's displaying on that at 4K. And then just a little testing monitor. So 16 sources, I mean 16 displays. We just we just did eight eight sources, but I just duplicated it. Um, so this might be very similar to something for your setup. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first thing we want to do is get this on our network and you can simply do that if you have it connected to your local network switch DHCP is enabled it makes it really easy to get this on your network so all you got to do is just here on the front here hit the menu button you're going to go down to uh, setup enter network enter and then DHCP is actually on by default so it pulled a local IP which is local 192.168.30.54 that is local to our uh, network scheme so let's go ahead and dive into that all right now let's go ahead and put that IP address into the web browser 192.168.30.54 and boom there it is and here is our brand new logo too bcb gear moving on up and admin admin is the login and here we go yep bg 4k-1616 ma so as always the first page is status all your firmware your network status um firmware versions network status on even got the temperature of the unit um which is sitting at a cool 72 degrees celsius uh, looking good all right so our first tab here is video as you can see i already went through and labeled all of our sources you could do this on the input pay, uh, input tab here um, I just had eight sources going to each TV. E did set to the default 4K 60 to 444. Really easy. So between the video and the matrix tab, it's pretty much the same thing, but that's just, uh, if you have a matter of preference, uh, you can do the switching here, but on this page, you actually have the presets. So um, if I want to do some switching, so let's say I want to put all of our BZB gear media on all the tvs there you go see how it switched and we got them all 16 going yep we do perfect so i'm gonna if i want to save that you just hit save save successful and then you actually can label it all bzb and then i should probably save that and then actually i went in earlier and labeled a preset called eight inputs that means it's going to be eight the first eight inputs are going to be the first eight outputs and the same eight inputs are going to be in the second set of eight outputs so i'm going to hit the, go back to where we were and boom pretty quick switching yep everything's back to normal so that's how it is but what's great about this unit is it allows for eight easy video and audio matrixing um separate of each other so if you're looking to just switch the audio on like a certain output if you want to make sure it's the audio on a certain output go ahead and um just go to the output only or sorry excuse me input audio only right here so on output tv let's say output one i want the audio from maybe the ps4 i hit that 
So it has the Blu-ray, the, you can't, the TVs are muted, but it has the Blu-ray playing on output one at the top left there, but the, if I turn on the volume, the PS4 audio will be there. So it makes it really easy. But if I just want to put it back, I just go ahead and select here. This, this uh, matrix is both the Blu-ray audio and video. So that makes it very simple to, uh, I know we get a lot of questions about how to audio matrix and everything. So that's how you do it. Same on this page. So this is just a little different, same exact uh, operation. But if you're looking to uh, select your inputs, you, for each output, you select, I want, let's say output five. That's the TV right in the middle. If I want to switch it to like the Xbox, see how it's switching right there. Oh, that's all I have to do. TV is adjusting for like the HDR stuff. And we're back to Xbox. We can put it on the food. And then if I know I want to do the audio matrixing, I could do that right there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back. What was that on? BZB, boom. There you go, guy eating popcorn. And then keep going down the line here is your inputs. Like I mentioned, you can, um, you can see the green active. That means that you get a good source in. And then the yellow means there's no source, which is we know. And we label it, we could go ahead and customize all of our, or label all our input sources. Outputs, if you're looking to, if you have your TVs are like in halls or different banquet halls or different rooms you could say tv one room one tv two room two and then a lot of options here in the output settings you can um for the scaler you can downscale if you if you have like a monitor that only supports 1080 but you have a 4k source you could just uh select that right there a lot of times bypass if you have 4k sources 4k tvs it's pretty solid same with hdr and then hccp usually just all auto follow everything um and then if you want to do some arc from your your tv you can do that as well right here turn the stream off all, all the normal options here but for 16 tvs yep there you go here is where you can actually do a lot of the audio matrixing if you're looking to uh just focus on the audio matrixing and like if, if i want to pull the because um, all the all the outputs have audio extraction that has the digital audio extraction on each output. So if you're looking to, you know, extract the audio from a certain source to a external sound system, you can you know you can select it right here. Or if you're looking to pull the audio from something else, you just select that audio. Like this is the um, audio extraction on the back of the unit, not just not through the HDMI, but through the uh, digital out and then if you want to do you, and then you can just put where you put where your audio is coming from either from output one input one um or the arc from the tv like if one of the tvs or um, you're looking to get the audio from like a um, a smart tv you can do that there cc is pretty straightforward and then there's your network settings if you're looking to put it on a stack ip change the user you can do that right here and then system and everyone's favorite button factor reset oh, actually excuse me turning off the beep that's my first favorite button right there so the beep's not so loud and then if you're change, looking to change anything else baud rate uh firmware updates and then the old factor reset if you're looking to uh fix some problems that you might have caused so that is it uh like i mentioned this is a very fun cool uh unit very popular everyone loves the 1616 because it allows a lot of options of your input sources to multiple outputs uh we get a lot of calls about this and so we're excited just to be uh launching our brand new one new version supporting just even higher resolutions or just the more solid 4k at 6444 makes it really simple um interface is really really easy to use so as always if you have any questions comments feedback leave them in the comments below we'd love to help you out or if you're answering your questions or if you're you're installing this and you have any speed bumps we'd love to help you out that as well hit us up at support and as always uh if you have any questions how maybe you want to utilize this in your environment or expand or whatever it may be hit up any of our sales associates i know they'll love to talk to you about how this would be a perfect fit for that and as always don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these to be notified when more videos like these come out and as always have a great day